Hi, my name is Bailey Buckingham, and this is my out-of-the-box idea for our ESL assignment. And I will be showing a good lesson for a fifth grade social studies classroom. My teaks that I will be using and ELPS, I'll do teaks first, is 2A for fifth grade social studies. And it's history, the student understands how conflict between the American colonies and Great Britain led to the American independence. The student is expected to identify and analyze the causes and effects of events prior and during the American Revolution, including the French and Indian War and the Boston Tea Party. And then my ELPS would be um, 3D and is them to speak using grade level content area vocabulary in context to internalize new English words and build academic language proficiency. And my out of the box idea that I would that I've actually done and I was in fifth grade, I did this, but I've never seen anyone else do it, was to actually write a script and perform a play of a uh, history of a big historical event, which is part of the ones that I had listed, which was the American Revolution, including the French and Indian War, the Boston Tea Party. Sorry, my laptop's right here, so I'm looking at it. <laughs> um, those would be such great events to try to um, reenact and retell a story and make a play out of it. So my out of the box idea is to do a play, but not as the whole class, to give um, individual groups a certain historical event for them to create a script, create characters, choose a setting. So what I mean by choose a setting is I mean, they don't have to do it in the classroom. We went outside, when I was in fifth grade, we got full range of the playground, the garden that we had, we can go, we had a thing called the Bear Den. We could have gone there, we'd go to the cafeteria. We had full range of the whole school, the whole campus for us to pick our setting and to practice there when we wanted to practice there. And we had trust enough for our teachers to let us go by ourselves to practice. It was very cool. Um, so what I mean by this is you would assign, I assume we had five, about five in our group or maybe a little bit higher, five to seven kids or students in our group and you would assign them a historical event. So let's say the Boston Tea Party. And the Boston Tea Party, you would folk, the students would focus on writing a script that accurately told the, the story of the Boston Tea Party. They can create characters of who wants to play who, and then there can be a narrator to make sure that's like actually telling the story properly. And then the characters would do the dialogue and the acting and all the actions and stuff that would happen with it. And they can bring their costumes. They can, they don't have to, but we did because why not? It was really fun. Um, and for the, well, the reason why I'm so excited about being outside the classroom is because we did it on a playground. We got a choice of where we wanted to go and the playground was so cool because I'll talk about my experience. I was assigned the Roanoke Colony and I still know a whole lot about the Roanoke Colony solely because I did a lesson about it when I was in fifth grade. And it was just so much fun to be able to use the playground to our advantage. And if you know the, all about Roanoke Colony, it's like they disappeared. And so we were able to like make it look like we disappeared. And using a playground, like there's so many opportunities you can use for your um, your setting and stuff. So lots of things, the students, the rest of the students of the class who are watching you perform your, uh, your historical event get to sit and watch you do it. And it's not just fun for the, the actors, it's fun for the students because they get to learn it too. Your students are now the experts on that topic and they get to perform and teach the rest of the class in a way that's not a textbook or a PowerPoint presentation. And it's just so much more fun that way. Uh, my teacher was, his name is Mr. Chadwick. I'm pretty sure he's retired now, but it probably, he gave us like a full month to become experts at our topic. And he was fully willing to help us do whatever we wanted to do. And I don't know, I think we all had the most fun doing it than sitting in a classroom going over a PowerPoint and having him teach us. So the fact that we got to teach our peers was probably the most fun I had in that fifth grade classroom. And I highly, highly recommend that everyone 
take the chance to let the students become the experts on a topic and teach the class for their peers, but not through a PowerPoint, not through textbooks, not through worksheets, but through like actual physical activity because that's what kids know how to do. They know how to be outside, they know how to have fun, they know how to be creative. So let's let them do that. Um, thank you for listening to my presentation. Bye.